The story began in nitro, in a Monsanto factory that produced a powerful herbicide called 245T. In 1949, an explosion in the factory provoked unexpected side effects. 228 workers developed an extremely disfiguring illness called chloracne. It's caused by dioxin, which is a highly toxic byproduct of 245T. Two four five T was the main ingredient in Agent Orange, the defoliant used by the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War. During the war, 40 million liters of Agent Orange, containing 400 kilograms of pure dioxin, were sprayed on trees in southern Vietnam. Three million people were contaminated, including thousands of American soldiers. Even some 40 years after the end of the war, dioxin continues to claim more victims. We know today that this poison provokes cancer and serious genetic malfunctions. In 1978, while American Vietnam veterans were suing the makers of Agent Orange, Monsanto sponsored studies on the long-term effects of dioxin. The company paid scientists to compare the health of workers who had been exposed during the nitro plant's accident 30 years prior to the health of non-exposed workers. There are two experts on the subject. William Sanjur, who led the Toxic Waste Division of the Environmental Protection Agency, and Gerson Smoger, a lawyer who represents Vietnam veterans. In 1990, uh, Dr. Kay Jenkins, uh, a colleague of mine at EPA, wrote a memorandum pointing out that allegations had been made that those studies, uh, some of those studies that Monsanto had conducted were flawed and if they were done correctly, would have reached just the opposite result of that Monsanto had. The Monsanto studies showed that dioxin was not a human carcinogen. Well, that means they had the data first, and then they manipulated how they were gonna look at that data to come up with the conclusion they want. It's absolutely, you never do a study that way, never. And they did it absolutely wrong, they, and they achieved what they wanted. And it would, came out later that there were people that had cancer that in one of the two studies were listed as being exposed to dioxin. And the same five people in another study were listed as not being exposed. When you put all these cancers into the unexposed, then it looked like the unexposed people were getting as much cancer as the exposed. And they said, but there's no difference. See, they're the same. So then thousands and thousands of veterans were, were disallowed benefits uh, because of exposure to Agent Orange. So all policy was affected by those studies for seven to nine years in this country. Being a good scientist and a good EPA employee, uh, and someone, by the way, who was quite fearless, Kate Jenkins wrote a memorandum to the EPA Science Advisory Board asking them to review these two studies to see if they were correctly done. The fact is, there was no investigation of Monsanto. It didn't exist. Nobody investigated those, uh, those st studies. Nobody, period. What they investigated was Kate Jenkins, the whistleblower. They made her life a hell. They harassed her. They changed her jobs. They persecuted the poor woman. If you think of Monsanto today, they are telling that their GMOs, for instance, are sound and safe. Uh, do you trust the company? I wouldn't believe company? the word that company says, nothing. 